is so good. I'm smiling, but you can't see. <laughs> Look how cute. And this jam section is just like, oh. <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> what the heck, I've never seen that before. Good afternoon, everyone. We're at Sainsbury's and we're doing a budget supermarket shop. Alex is here in the corner. <laughs> it's been a really long time since we've done one of these and so many of you have been requesting it, so we're finally doing it. We've done all the other supermarkets, well, most of them, but we've never done Sainsbury's for our budget video. And we're also going to be looking at how to shop ethically and how to shop sustainably, because it's not just about being on a budget as a vegan, but it's also about being aware of the ingredients in the foods that you're eating. And I know lots of you are trying to eat more consciously, be more plant-based, um, lower the amount of waste that you're producing when you're going on your food shops. So there are a few things that I wanna talk about when we go around the shop to help you. And we're gonna be looking at palm oil in particular. I'd love to know, write down in the comments now, if you are vegan or if you're not vegan, um, but you're, if you're someone who consciously tries to be more ethical when it comes to your food do you deliberately avoid palm oil and why and i'd love for you to say that and then add to your comment later after you've watched the video and tell me if anything changed um, because i when i first went vegan i went vegan and then i started to learn about things like palm oil and alex and i deliberately avoided shopping palm oil because it was kind of an extension of veganism. The Centre for Sustainable Palm Oil has asked me to discuss palm oil and why and why not it's sustainable. And we're going to talk about it more in detail when we go inside. We're going to look at what some of the ingredients are on the back of the foods that we're choosing. And we're going to be specifically looking out for sustainable palm oil over the regular kind. Unsustainably sourced palm oil is really damaging to the environment, to animals, to people. And it was quite an easy thing just to be like, I'm just not going to buy that because it has palm oil in it. However, in recent years, I have learned a little bit more about sustainably sourced palm oil and how it actually is far better for the environment than alternatives. So things like rapeseed oil or sunflower oil and by avoiding palm oil altogether can actually inadvertently cause more damage to the environment because you're going for another oil instead, which is more harmful. The thing about palm oil is it actually requires a small amount of land and natural resources to produce a high yield compared to those other oils. In Malaysia, for example, they now have a system where they can certify whether palm oil is sustainable. So it's the Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil Certification. And 90% or over 90% of all palm oil coming out of Malaysia is now sustainably created. That means their workers are um, treated fairly and paid properly. The damage to the environment is minimal compared to um, other oils or non-sustainably made palm oil. The Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil Certification enables them to check this so that palm oil production is protecting rainforests, it's conserving biodiversity, and it's creating fair socio-economic conditions. And this basically means that we need to educate ourselves, and that's all it is, it's just education. Same comes to things like being vegan, plant-based, low waste it's about education and understanding the differences and if you're boycotting an entire thing it can actually do the opposite so we're going to go inside do our food shop and we'll see if we can spot some palm oil and some sustainably sourced palm oil because there's a huge huge difference and we're quite literally parked next to an airfield so filming that was a little tricky because i kept having to pause alex is here with us and we're gonna go in put our masks on hopefully you can hear me i've got my little mic on my dungarees so Hopefully you'll be able to hear me through my mask. We've never filmed. I think the audio will be clearer than it usually is on these videos. Do you think? It should be. We haven't done this for a few years because of everything going on in the world. We just didn't really feel comfortable. So now's the time. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, look. It's Christmas. <laughs> I think we're heading to the fruit and veg first. We're gonna stop up on some essentials and then we'll go have a look in some of the other aisles to go get all the other bits. But I think we're gonna try and stick to like 30 to 40 pounds today. Do you think? Yeah. Fair trade. So I always try and opt for fair trade bananas. Um, most shops, do, do other shops do? Is it just, yeah, most shops have um, fair trade. So. Try and opt for that. 
the organic stuff is often in plastic and it's like a toss up between going for organically farmed foods versus plastic wrapped foods. Sound off in the comments which one you think is more ethical or sustainable. I'm kind of of the mind that organic farming is kind of, it's more regenerative, it's better for the soil, better for the environment. So I, I tend to try and go for that, but we usually get our Riverford organic delivery, which has got no plastic anyway. Look how cute. Reduce, that's another way to try and reduce waste is go and get reduced section food um, if you're going to eat it that day because otherwise it will just go in the bin even if it's pl plastic packaged saves on it being thrown in the bin outside Sainsbury's nice chunky sweet potato and what other veg do we need maybe some carrots get some carrots I always say this but if you're someone who doesn't like veg and you're on a budget buy carrots grate them and put them in pasta sauces curries and you won't taste them they're also great to dip into dips. I'm smiling, but you can't see. <laughs> Just grabbing a cabbage, seasonal food this time of year and really, really cheap. This is 80p and it will go across multiple meals. Um, great in stir fries, soups, everything. Love cabbage. We may have hit the jackpot. Reduced vegan goods. I think this will be our vegan item for the week, don't you think? Steaks or hot and spicy goujons. Which one do you vote? I don't actually mind. Which one? Steaks? Okay. Our favorite tofu is on offer. We just come around the corner because there was um, someone next door, but we were looking at all the plant-based bits and noticing that um, all the vegan options, they had canola oil, rapeseed oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil. None of them had palm oil. And I think that's because of the issue that vegans are boycotting palm oil and they're aware of the negativity surrounding palm oil. So as a brand, they just go, let's just stick to vegetable oils, which actually are worse for the environment. So it just kind of is one of those things that you have to be mindful of, not just blindly following what the sort of general knowledge is and doing your own research to understand what is and what isn't sustainable. And when it comes to palm oil, you need to look at the back of your ingredients lists and hopefully this will mean that vegan brands in the future and plant-based products that are coming out they will choose sustainable palm oil which is far better for the environment and ecosystems and people than all the other vegetable oils that are on the back of all those packages so now i'm going to try and find something that actually has some sustainable palm oil in it um, we're thinking maybe like some sauces or some noodles or biscuits yeah and see what we can find this is my favourite cheese. I think a lot of cheese is there, coconut oil based, because the flavour kind of works for cheese. Do we need one of these? Oh look, it's an offer. I don't think we need this, we've got some at home, don't have we? But if you're after a good vegan cheese, this is the one to get. So we've got all the Christmas bits, look. The Christmas festive selection, how cute. This one's also nice, isn't it, the smoky? Oh! Did you buy this the other day, didn't you? <gasps> look at that, perfect for like, dipping. So we need some stock and as you can see on here on the back, the palm oil used in the manufacture of this product supports the production of sustainable palm oil from well-managed plantations. So that's what you need to look out for. Don't just look at the ingredients and say, oh no, that's got palm oil in it. I'm not buying that. See if it's sustainably sourced and then it can go straight in the trolley. This is another one, organic vegetable stock. Responsibly sourced, certified by the Round Table on Sustainable Palm Oil. This stock says it's vegan if you look on the bottom it says palm oil but there's no indication that this is sustainable so it's better to opt for the Sainsbury's own than this one because we can trace where that palm oil's come from. So I've lined up some examples of all the peanut butters so we were noticing that because they're all plant-based they have very proudly on the front we never use palm oil on this one um, and this one again it says where is it where is it this one yeah says absolutely no palm oil I guess the approach is it's just peanuts but also they're aware that lots of people are going to this and checking. So um, this one does have palm oil, but it doesn't say where it's come from. But then this one, you can see on the back, organic sustainable palm oil. So it's just literally checking the labels. If you're vegan already, you're used to that. Do we need any jam? Nope. We've got jam. I just got some yogurt. I'm like really hooked on breakfast foods at the minute. And this jam section is just like, oh. <laughs> Do we need bread or are you gonna make bread? I'll make some. You make some? Yeah. There you go, that's going to save us money. Flour, yeast, salt. And palm oil. And palm oil. No, no. What else do you put in bread? That's it. Got it. So, really, really cheap. So, I was going to buy some saurine. Serene? Saurine? 
I always see it in the supermarket and I always think it looks really delicious. Um, but then I turned it around and it's got rapeseed and palm. Don't know where it's come from, so I'm not going to pick this one up. Do we need pasta? I would like some pasta. I feel like I can't do a food shop without getting pasta. Which one do you like? I vote macaroni or... Yeah, <laughs> or rigatoni. Yeah. On con conchigli. Is that how you say it? This is the section we're after. All the tins. So we need kidney beans. Oops. Chickpeas, chickpeas. If you're on a budget and you're plant-based, get all the lentils, all the beans, all the tomato purees and sauces, and you can cook everything you want from scratch. You don't need to buy any of those sauces then, and it's just so much more affordable. If you've got a cupboard full of spices, it's so much cheaper. Watch my videos and learn how to cook. <laughs> Black and white chickpeas. They're cheap. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Another thing is some brands like Mutty. I worked with them recently and they told me all about how they produce their, like, uh, farm their tomatoes. And it's all totally sustainable. So um, when they're on offer, it's a really good. I mean, I know sometimes certain things are outside of the price point because this is 90p versus 28p and it's not always going to be an option. But if it is an option, um, this is all regeneratively and sustainably farmed. Um, it's a, like a family company and you know where you're getting it from. So I'm going to get the Outpro Organic Soya. They don't have the, the normal unsweetened. Um, this has no oil in it at all because we were thinking about um, some of the milks have like rapeseed oil in them. What does this one have? Yeah, this, this has sunflower oil in it. I guess that's to preserve it, is it? Or to make it smooth? The oats are creamy, yeah. Couldn't be one of these videos without oats. Where are the cheapest ones? 7.5p per 100 grams. Look at that. You cannot beat oats when you're on a budget. You could have this for breakfast, lunch and dinner if you wanted. <laughs> these are so good, so good. Frozen section is where you're going to save money. So um, buy frozen vegetables instead of buying fresh and it's cheaper. A lot of the time it's fresher because it's been frozen immediately. Yes, it comes with the packaging, but if you're on a budget, it's simpler. And there are certain things we always buy frozen, like, yeah, you can recycle it. Um, and we always buy frozen fruit, frozen peas, obviously. So we're going to get some peas, all the Christmas food. Look. What are these ones? <gasps> oh, pups in blankets. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Can I see these ones, please? I'm going to be getting some of these things for sure because we're hosting Christmas and for like Boxing Day and like when people come over, I feel like these are going to be useful. Obviously, I'm going to cook some things from scratch, like my nut roast. I'll leave a link to my nut roast below. But um, these are really useful if you've got a big family. Linda McCartney sausages are on offer, so we're going to get some only a pound and they'll go really nice in a tray bake just like the picture <laughs> probably some we've got onions at home so some onion with that sweet potato would work well um and i'm gonna run back and get courgette but yeah you could have sausages sweet potato carrots and sweet potato and onion in a big tray yum frozen fruit for smoothies they always do a cheap berry mix oh hey yeah hello this is perfect for smoothies and porridge. What more do you need? But the size of the bag, you get like, that would probably last a week for both of us. We're gonna go back to the fresh food section because we've forgotten some veg, haven't we? It's like tricky because we've got some things at home. So I'm trying to remember what we have and what we don't have. <laughs> we actually need to stock up on biscuits. What about bourbons? Bourbons are vegan. Ah, so yeah, look, this has got a sustainable palm oil label. Wonder why this one doesn't then? Interesting. Might be worth looking on the website because you mentioned something about how on the website it says it's sustainable but the packaging doesn't so um i would just stay on the safe side and just buy it if it has it on the packaging so this one does so that's really good so perfect bourbons yummy oh my gosh look what alex has found i've heard it's not amazing though gotta try it once this one apparently is way better we're trying this in the car you know where's a bag rookie error i forgot our produce bags it's because we moved our kitchen around so they're in a different place but I don't know how I forgot mushrooms. 
my whole brand is mushrooms at this point. I'm very sorry if you don't like mushrooms, but maybe I'm not the content creator for you. Mm. Look how big they are. Mushrooms make me so excited. I really want to grow my own to the brim. <laughs> There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am home? We are done we ended up spending 35 pounds, but I'm going to take off the cost of that dairy milk because that was just a purchase for us because we fancied it. Yeah, it's a new thing. In fact, I'm gonna get Alex to get out of the boot so we can try it now. Could you get the dairy milk out of the boot? Yes. Thank you. So we'll figure out how much it is. Um, and I like to always split it in half because there's two of us. So that's how much it will be for the week. Really successful, got loads of lovely things. So we're gonna go take it home and we'll show you everything we got. Right, let's quickly try these. Do you know how much they were? £2.50. Each? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to take off for fiver. So it's £30, £15 each, because this is just a treat, just because yeah. I wanted to try it. So let's try I want to try the salted caramel first. Sorry if Alex's voice is not picking up much in this video, but he's not got a mic on, so... Mm. Let's maybe put it... I've just moved the mic right. in front of us, so hopefully it'll pick us both up. So this is the salted caramel, which I think is the one that everyone said was nice. Oh, it actually kind of smells like dairy milk. Promising. Mmm. That's really yummy. It doesn't taste that much like dairy milk. It smells like dairy milk, which is strange. I kind of forgotten what dairy milk tastes like. Yeah. It smells like, but I'm thinking, does it smell like dairy milk or does it just smell like chocolate? <laughs> but it is really tasty. It has that creaminess that lots of vegan chocolates lack. This one just tastes like advent calendar chocolate. Well, it's a bit better than that. Yeah. We tried the Milky Way one, and that tasted just like advent calendar chocolate. Plain, boring. But that's not bad. It tastes like standard vegan chocolate that you would buy. It's okay. That one's okay. Yeah. This one, that's pretty I good. would buy this one again. This, I would give the, the plain one like a 5 out of 10. It's creamy. And then this one... I'll give them that. I bet like this one maybe a six or a seven. I'm a bit disappointed, you know. Give it I, thought a seven. Be, I thought it'd be better than that. I still prefer On Bar and Raw Halo and Nomo. I prefer Nomo. Mm. Yeah. So there's our review. Also cheaper, so. Yes, <laughs> but it's also worthwhile having. Yeah. I think the thing is with these things is they're up against um, budgets and costs. So I think until this kind of thing becomes extremely popular, which it kind of should be already. I feel like you can definitely make, just like with vegan cheese, vegan cheese has got so much better over the years because I feel like there's more incentive to make it better. Okay. So if you can sell a bar that's double the size for like half the price with dairy milk, why is it so expensive? I think it's just a vegan tax. We're back, we've got our food, these two big bags. Let's go through them. This is not our bag. I don't, does anyone else have this where they just end up adopting? What are you doing? You end up adopting- um, Is that your mum's? a family member's bag. And I know that my mum has one of these, or your parents do, I don't know. I just feel like they're yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> so we've got salt and vinegar flavored rice and corn cakes. I love these as a snack. They're just really, really salt and vinegary. Linda McCartney sausages, vegan staple. A huge bag of macaroni. I could make vegan mac and cheese with this because my mac and cheese recipe, which I'll link below, um, is like all cupboard food. It's essentially cashews, nutritional yeast, and seasonings and milk. So it's very low on the, the items that you actually need. Tofu, of course, are sustainably sourced um, bourbon creams. And coconut yogurt. This is a bit more of a pricey item, a bit more of a, a I special did, one. I did say in the shop there was but, one that was half the price. But... No, there wasn't. Not a coconut one though. I like coconut flavoured. I, I also like this one because there's not that many ingredients and it's got probiotics, yeah. so. It's much nicer. Um, we've got our reduced 
salad, which was £1.25, reduced to 59p, which is great. But we've got to eat that tomorrow, really. Um, peas. Peas would be great in the macaroni as well. Mm -hmm. um, or in anything, really. I like having peas at lunchtime when I can't be bothered. In fact, I might make a pea and mint soup because I've got loads of potatoes from the garden and mint from the garden and I can make a soup. I just ordered a soup maker. No, you didn't. <laughs> if I leave a comment if you understand the, the joke around that. So we've got our sustainable palm oil um, vegetable stock cubes, which I can use to make the pea and mint soup. And we've got loads of beans. We've got chickpeas, black beans, more chickpeas, some lentils, some red kidney beans. I've started to buy lentils in the can because when I was buying lentils in the bag, even though it's kind of better because you're buying it in bulk, I found myself not using them as much, but it's really, really useful to have this at lunchtime if you're in a rush for a change from beans. Mm -hmm. My hair is on everything. Is that what you're laughing we at? Could, yeah. It's like two hairs on that. We could make a chickpea tuna with that, with the bread Ooh, I make. Yeah! That'd be fun. Um, if you want the bread recipe, it is in my ebook, Plant Kitchen Comforts. I'll link it below. Some carrots, the cheapest vegetable, always buy carrots, they're just a staple. Frozen fruit, which we'll have for breakfast, smoothies, but mo mainly porridge. My favourite porridge, like I make porridge a lot and I've got loads of porridge recipes and you all know how much I love porridge but my favourite porridge is just porridge with berries cooked in it with cinnamon just classic and simple I prefer it to chocolate porridge I prefer it to strawberry or banana or apple or anything else what about chia seed and maple syrup and goji berries I always put chia seeds in my porridge no I always put chia seeds and I always top with maple syrup that's just yeah. a given because we get the amigas <laughs> Um, Alex bought this um, chicken flavoured instant noodles, which fun fact are vegan and they also have the sustainable palm oil. We noticed a lot in Sainsbury's, lots of their own brand stuff, they had that as a label, which is kind of nice. And it's not the sort of thing that you would expect. I don't see it in other supermarkets. They're the ones I always buy rather than other brands or other supermarket ones. In fact, I'm pretty sure you were the one who told me about palm oil a long time ago. Yeah, it wasn't me, because I think that yeah. I, I bought everything and then you were like, oh no Maddie, by the way, and I was like, oh. Yeah, but you just don't care. Um, coriander. Basil, you know, I was like, oh, something smells so good. I got this because it was reduced and I'm going to plant it and put it back there on our shelf in the kitchen and I'll reuse the little pot for some seedlings. Sweet potato, we're going to have a tray bake, I think, with that. <laughs> Roxy. Got some bananas, which would be good for smoothies or to add into porridge. Speaking of which, honestly, porridge is the cheapest breakfast and it's so, so good for you. So healthy, you can have it in so many different ways. And if you're someone who, because I know lots of people don't love having carbohydrates or people have different bodies and they don't work well, then I still think that you can have porridge, but maybe introduce things like peanut butter or chia seeds. I like to have, because um, I used to have just porridge on its own pretty much with some fruit, but I now have less porridge and I add in chia seeds, hemp seeds, peanut butter, um, which I find it sits in my stomach better. It digests better, makes me feel better in general. It's not so heavy as having like a whole cup of porridge with nothing else apart from like fruit. Yeah. Um, That's what we used to do. Yeah, we used to have like just fully, just massive amounts yeah. of porridge with nothing, no fat or anything and or protein. <laughs> um, a huge bag of mushrooms, which I don't actually know how much this was. It'll be on the receipt. Um, Can we to look for the receipt? The oh, receipt is here. The mushrooms were. Hopefully we've been putting on screen how much everything was. Um, £2.14. That's actually not bad. Whoa. So like half, half a kilo. They're such big mushrooms, which is kind of rare for... A pound of mushrooms. That's yeah. Really some basmati rice. We've got brown rice, so we actually need some more basmati, so that's good. Got my milk, which I wish I'd got the cheaper one, but oh well. No, they didn't have any of the They didn't have one. any. I know. I mean, yeah. I wish they had it. A courgette for our little tray bake. Some cabbage, which will probably go a long way. I imagine I'm going to have this for lunch, like stir fries and that kind of thing. Loads of lemons. I needed to stock up on lemons because we've only got a couple. And I just have lemons every day, all day. I really would love to grow a lemon tree because I don't know if it would work though in our climate, but I adore People lemons. grow them in the UK, but I don't know. You probably have to have some kind of setup or area that's really hot. I'll put it in the greenhouse. Or put it in a greenhouse or something, maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. I would love to grow my own mushrooms as well. And I think it's fairly simple. You can buy something to grow them. 
Um, cool. Someone sent me, I think Gaz Oakley did it in, he did it and he shared it on his stories and someone sent it to me like, you need to do right. this. So I actually think I might. Some more lentils, our reduced beef steaks. I feel like we do this every time we go to the supermarket, don't we? We mm. get what, like the reduced vegan option. Cause then you have something fun <laughs> yeah. for the week. A pepper, I didn't have any red peppers. Oh, that's it, that's everything. So you can't really see on camera, let me move the camera a bit. So this is everything we've got. I feel like that's quite a lot of food for 30 pounds, don't you? I do. And I actually think Sainsbury's is quite good. I think the reason that I sometimes spend more in Sainsbury's than other shops is because they have loads of the fun stuff. <laughs> they have like so yeah. many good vegan options and free from options and those things are expensive. But I think if you shop the basics, most of the supermarkets are very similar. I did see a very exciting report that said, it compared like, you know, like you buy 70 products or something and it was all pretty similar. Yeah, there wasn't like a huge amount in it. When you're buying stuff like this, they're gonna price them similarly in the shops. The own, own brand stuff is similar. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the kind of food that you buy there. Like with Asda, I go to Asda and I'm a bit like, if I want to buy vegan fun stuff, yeah. there's not much. Um, there's not as the free from section isn't as good. Sometimes I feel like you can't even buy tofu in Asda, yeah. whereas Sainsbury's has just got a lot like of the foods that I would stuff. buy, like the Cadbury's chocolate. Yeah, like the Cadbury's. They've got this isn't chicken. They've got um, loads of delicious Liella stuff and snacks in the free from section. Mm. I think my favourite shops are always Tesco, Sainsbury's, and Waitrose for vegan food. Mm -hmm. for sure thank you so much for watching and definitely click the link down below to check out cspo and find out more information about sustainable palm oil and palm oil and hopefully i've educated some of you maybe some of you already knew this let me know in the comments i'd love to hear how your experience has been with palm oil whether you're vegan whether you're not um because i do think it's one of those things that over the last few years has been misunderstood yeah it got big news a few years ago yeah but yeah. i still think that there is probably with brands a lot of pressure to just for them think we're just going to leave palm oil out because there will be some people still who don't know mm. and that can be like like i said inadvertently problematic and in that it's going to cause more harm to the environment by swapping palm oil for another oil that is going to cause more issues so yeah when you're in the shops next time make sure you're checking labels and seeing the difference and Sainsbury's was pretty good with all the labels for palm oil so do you like my pose you're copying me your power stance <laughs> it's because I, we're both really tall yeah, so lots of people say about our kitchen they're like oh your counter's really low we're so yeah. tall that it's actually very difficult to include the food on the counter and yeah. us unless you put the tripod like two yeah. meters high yeah but then even then it won't show the it won't show the food on the table <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you in our next video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll make more of them in the new year. We'll do one for Veganuary, maybe. Um, maybe we'll go to Waitrose because that's the one yeah. that always everyone thinks is more expensive. We'll find out. I'm going to make a special trip. Yes, all the way to Truro. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Back. Stop laughing and start again.